Hi everyone, it's Crystal. Uh, so today's video is going to be my August empties part two. Uh, got through a lot of stuff here, so I'll just jump into it. Um, so I'll start with picked for you. This was a uh, fruity floral that came out uh, Mother's Day. It was a special Mother's Day bundle. Mmm, it's really good. If hmm, uh, it's no longer available, but. Um, Anything, um, how do you say that? If, if you're into um, soft florals, uh, if you like fruity scents, it's kind of sweet, but uh, with the hint of that floral, but it's not, um, you know, like a lush gardenia where it's banging your face, real strong floral. It's definitely not like that. Um, I've recently discovered that I kind of like these um, fruity floral scents. So a picked for you. Um, I did have it in my club at one point, but I ended up getting a six pack of it and felt like that was enough. So it's no longer in my club, unfortunately, but that was a good one. Another one um, here I went through is the Phineas and Ferb. This is the bar that uh, felt like it lied. <laughs> no, it was described as, I think it was like a strawberry pineapple with some like, um, a greenery kind of a smell but I feel like it's more of a greenery smell with a hint of sweetness to it so when I was expecting fruity with a little bit of greenery I got a lot of greenery with a little bit of fruity so it's definitely not in my um like my preference um but it by no means was horrible it was actually pretty good uh it was nice around the house um nobody ever complained about it um but it's not one of the ones that um that I tend to gravitate towards so I, I wouldn't be getting that again uh, this was from Bring Back My Bar, which was Blueberry Rush. Now this is a good one. Um, to me, it smells like a dark berry, mm, but it's also similar to Berry Bright. But that one, I feel like the difference between the two is this one's more like a deeper, darker berry, whereas that one's a little more brighter. That one is like a blue raspberry slushy, where this would be like a, I don't know, like a, like a black raspberry, you know, like the black raspberry vanilla smell, but more fruity I guess than the with the without like the vanilla this was really good but because Berry Bright's in the catalog I didn't feel the need to uh, put that in my club this was from the mix a collection which is the uh, sponge sugar and vanilla I ended up actually mixing this one with the the blueberry rush it was really good together and I did do it on its own as well it's very nice um it's got uh, like a bit of a, a caramelized scent to it. Um, I really like it, but I didn't like it enough to put it in my club. I had gotten a few bars and I was good with that. This one is in my club, Pink Tulips. This is a nice soft, yeah, like a nice soft girly bedroom scent, I guess you could describe it as if you like uh, sugar, pink haze, um, uh, cozy cardigan, like this is, this is really good. I think you'd like that one. Uh, Pink Tulips. Uh, Bonfire Beach is a classic from Scentsy. I always say it reminds me of roasting marshmallows over a fire on the beach. But like, make that like a sort of like a man cologne scent. Like this is really nice. Like if my husband wore this as a cologne, I, I would like it. This is really good. Unfortunately, it's not still in the catalog, but I have high hopes that it's going to make it back to the spring fall uh, sorry the spring summer catalog for next year so that was bonfire beach uh cotton candy cookie this was my last bar um it came out for easter they released like a three bar pack and i had put this one in my club i really like it it smells like a cookie with i guess cotton candy sugary scent my husband hated it so i took it out of my club and i used all the bars up and we got through them all Mix the collection was the juicy apple raspberry. This was really nice on its own. Um, I know some people, like the whole intent of this collection was to mix it, but I tend to prefer the scents alone than mixed, but not like they were bad mixed, but to me, I preferred them on their own. So that's what I did with this one. I had this one going all over my main floor and in the basement, it was so good. Nice, sweet, fruity, it was good. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, when it comes to bring back my bar, and the changes that were made, if it had been like before with the free shipping and all that, I probably would have kept a lot more in my club than I did. Um, oh, this guy. This is Dory and Just Keep Swimming. I had gotten this buddy clip um, from the clearance section. And um, 
I had gotten this one and the Nemo one, and I like click, picking those up for when my kids uh, get invited to a birthday party or if there's a kid's birthday party from their family. Uh, it's just a quick, easy gift. Uh, you throw this in a gift bag with a few other things, and boom, there's your gift. But I, I ended up digging this one out and putting it in my vehicle, my personal vehicle, so it's hanging from my uh, rear view mirror. So I've got Dory. Uh, where is she? I've got Dory in my vehicle with me coming for my for my rides. So I've got that and um, oh um, see here. Here's another Phineas and Fur that I got through. I ended up using, let's see here. I did the circle of life. That was a nice scent. It's not in the current catalog, um, but it's not something that I would uh, have to have you know it was nice uh no complaints but it's not like one of my favorite kind of scents you know uh this is one of the new releases cloudberry dreams if you saw my post worm review you, you would know mm, it's nice and fruity which i like but then it's got that floral which i normally like but the floral in this one is rose and it's so strong i can't stand it uh but some of my customers liked it and uh so that's good like, like i said there's always something for everybody with Scentsy, right? Then I went through um, apple and oats. Um, I ended up mixing this one with, let's see if I can find it. Hmm. Oh, I guess I don't, wait a minute. Okay, so I ended up, okay, so this is pistachio ice cream, and I ended up melting this, which I really enjoy on its own. It was a bring back my bar. Like, I've never had pistachio ice cream per se, but it smells like pistachios, and very creamy too. And what I did was I had put some of this around the house on its own. <clears throat> uh, the kids started complaining, like, what is that? They didn't like it, so I ended up mixing some of this in it, which actually uh, I found gave it more of a creamier, nuttier uh, scent to it, which ended up being really nice. Like I said, um, this one on its own, I don't really enjoy it by itself. The apples and oats, I feel like it's missing, you know, something, but as a mixer, I'm really enjoying this. So I put the two of them together and that was really nice. And I've also mixed this one with, uh, almond croissant, which was really good too. Uh, another one I went through was breakfast in bed, which is, um, I think is probably one of my probably, I haven't tried all the new releases, but out of the new releases I've tried, this is definitely my top favorite. This is pastry, pumpkin, like you smell that, I don't think it's a black raspberry. It's really good. Um, highly recommend it. Very strong, really good. Um, if you like those bakery scents, give it a shot. Strawberry champagne truffle. I'm going to keep this one short. I didn't like it very much. It smelled like a, a kitty, waxy, I don't know. Wasn't strong at all. Um, in a, We have a bedroom that I feel like every scent does super well in. It didn't do well in that one. I wouldn't recommend it. It was one of those ones where I had always skipped over, never bothered trying. Finally did and saw, yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> I wasn't missing out on anything. Uh, one of my classic favorites, Lemon Verbena. Love this one, especially in my entranceway. I always get so many comments on this one just because it's in my entranceway, right? Um, oh, I went through. Picked for you. Two more. Nice fruity floral there. I did. Ah. Uh, Pretty and Plum, of course. This one here, I ended up picking up 35 of them out of the clearance section. And to be honest, I don't think I picked up enough because mm, I've already got another bar on the go. But this is one that I finished. This is really good. Pretty and Plum. And I tried this one for the first time, which was Be My Honey, which I did not like. Nope, 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 nope. Not a fan of this one. And I got through a scent circle, which is uh, Rainbows and Butterflies. There's still some scent to it, like if you stick your nose in it, but hanging from my rear view mirror, no. But this was a strong one, and I found, um, you know, depending on the strength of the scent for these scent circles, you can get about a week, usually, this one. And sometimes you can't even get close to a week, but this one I could. This was really good. And last but not least, I've got some pods. I finished up my lemon verbena pods. If I stick my nose in it, I could smell it, but... You know, when I put it in uh, for my bathroom or any small room I have, I, I'm not smelling anything. And I switched those out for my Bonfire Beach Pod. So, oh, uh, this is just, uh, this is a scent that I absolutely love. So, I've got that going right now in my laundry room. 
So I think that's it for my empties. Um, I did go through quite a bit. And um, let me know what you went through. Um, did you discover something new that you had never tried before? And um, you loved it or even you hated it? Let me know. I'm always curious because... Um, you know, there's so many scents available in the catalog. It's just so hard. You can never always try them all, or um, at least I don't anyway. So I, I like to try every once in a while some new ones that I've never tried before. So let me know, um, like I said, if you've tried any like that. Um, hope everyone's having a good day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. I, I really appreciate it, and have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.